Hi, this is Rob. How to work with exponents on the TI-84 plus CE. The first number we will work with is 5 to the power of 3. Press the 5 key. Now press this caret key here. In mathematics, the caret represents an exponent. Above the 5, you will then see this blinking square box. Now, enter the number of your power. In our case, a 3. Now the 3 is in the exponent position and we see a blinking arrow. To get out of this exponent position, press the right arrow key here. To get the answer to this problem, press the Enter key. And the answer is 125. What if you have a negative base? We will enter a negative 5 to the power of 4 and see the solution. The negative sign is here. Enter a 5. Press the caret key, enter a 4, press the right arrow button to get out of the exponent. Press the enter button to get the solution. The answer is a negative 625. But that answer is wrong. What the TI-84 is doing is taking the fourth power of 5, which is 625, and then placing the negative sign in front of the answer. So, when working with negative bases, you have to place parentheses around the negative base first. For example, the parentheses are here, left parentheses, negative sign, 5, close parentheses, caret button, power 4, and click the right arrow button to get out of the exponent area. Enter button to get the solution. There is the answer, a positive 625. What about a negative exponent? Let's do 3 to the negative fifth power. A negative power will always give you a decimal solution because 3 to the negative fifth power is also equal to 1 over 3 to the fifth power. So, the 3 button, the caret button, the negative button, the 5 button, the right arrow button to get out of the exponent area, the inner button to get the solution. There is the decimal solution. Now we need to convert this to a fraction because on most homework and tests, your instructor will want the answer in a fraction. To convert this answer to a fraction, press the math button here. This window pops up. We want the number one here, frac. So press the one button, or because it's already highlighted, you can press the enter button. I will press the enter button. This answer frac will appear. We need to hit the enter button again to convert our decimal answer to a fraction. And there is our fraction, 1 over 243. Adding two numbers that have exponents. We're going to add 5 to the third power plus 2 to the fourth power. 5, caret, 3, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, plus sign, 2, caret, 4, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, Press the enter button for the solution, and the answer is 141. Subtracting two numbers that have exponents. We're going to subtract those same two numbers. 5, caret, 3, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, minus sign, 2, caret, 4, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area. Press the enter button for the solution, and the answer is 109. Subtracting a negative number, we'll use the same two numbers, 5, caret, 3, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, minus sign, parentheses, a negative 2, close parentheses, caret, 4, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, press the enter button for the solution, and the answer is 109. Let's see what answer we get if we do not use the parentheses. 5, caret, 3, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, minus sign, and negative 2, caret, 4, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area. Press the enter button for the solution, and the answer is 141. So if you ever have a negative base, make sure you use the parentheses. Dividing two numbers with exponents. We will divide 3 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 3. 
three, caret, five, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, divided by two, caret, three, right arrow key to get out of the exponent area, press the enter button for the solution, and the answer is 30.375. Let's change that answer to a fraction, press the math button, press enter, this answer fraction will appear, press enter again, and there is the answer in a fraction, 243 over 8. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to this channel.